Sports. Hi, Crossroads. I'm back with your hometown sports. The moment many of us have been waiting for. Football season is here. Titans football holding their first practice of the season early Monday morning on the East practice fields. They're playing without pads. The Titans ran their first full day workouts at 6 a.m. East looking to build on last year's playoff team with 21 returning lettermen on tw the 2019 roster. The Titans returned four stars on offense, five on defense. Arshon Coffey spoke with head coach Roland Gonzalez after practice about how they're looking for people to step up and show leadership. Not only, not only the leadership from the returners, but also we're looking for guys to really step up this year. You know, we need some uh, some depth, and we've got to create depth. And there's a bunch of guys on, in our program who can who can uh, facilitate that for us. So we're really pushing that. Uh, it will be a big part because yeah, we got a lot of young guys, young guys coming in, and we need to um, help them out, help them learn, and help them learn what they need to do on the field and how they need to act. East football went 5-3 and three in district in 2018 and will open the season on the road against West Columbia on Friday, August 30th at 7 p.m. The Warriors holding their first practice of the season Monday as well. Theirs taking place at Memorial Stadium starting at 7 p.m. West football returning three players on offense, including quarterback Donovan Harris and running back Tyron Hardrick. They were bringing back six stars on defense before the team took the field. Head coach Courtney Boyce telling our Sean Coffee about how their returning players can showcase their leadership. I mean, they're going to be, uh, you know, they're going to be essential like the rest of them, you know. But they'll be able to offer experience and leadership, you know, out on the field, and uh, you know that type of stuff's invaluable. Because the stars, you know, like Bryce Sitka, you know, being a three-year starter, I mean, uh, you know, setting the tone defensively, I mean, he, he brings a great deal of experience and, uh, you know, just knowledge of the game. And, uh, you know, I think that's what's important right now is the knowledge that we're pushing on to them and then, uh, you know, the effort that they bring. In the Generals' bid to repeat as league champions, falling two games short as they lost to the Minnesota, I mean, sorry, the Texarkana Twins 4-3 to three in a thrilling game at Riverside Monday night. After falling behind 3-0, to zero, the Generals tried to mount a comeback as they score runs in the 7th, 8th, and ninth innings to cut the lead to one. But their rally wasn't enough. I spoke on the phone to head coach Michael Oros Tuesday about how this team fought all year long and what it says about their character. It, it all has to do with their character. You know, we try and go out and get those types of guys that it matters to and it, it, it's important. And I think we did that this year and, and it showed in the last inning. I mean, you're down to your last out. You know, you, you come away with, with a tying run and scoring position and a chance to win it. And, you know, I give those guys all the credit in the world for the way they handled their business, not only in the playoffs, but all summer. And, uh, and it, was, it was rough to say goodbye to them yesterday. And that's what's happening in sports. Bill has your hometown weather after the break.